Look who's got Smart Pack. Smart Pack? A better way to park. Only available on the all new Sonata. How about new? You crazy Dutch b Hey, what is going on everybody? I got a quick video for you here today on a little ability that the Model 3 has. It's auto park, where you can actually tell the car, all right, go ahead and park either forwards or backwards. I'm gonna get out and go do my thing and the car will do that parking for you. So I shared this on Twitter. I didn't realize not many people know about this ability and it didn't go viral or anything, but it got a lot of shares, a lot of retweets. There was a lot of conversation and discussion. Um, and then other people were posting about it. And then I figure, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm here for you guys. I want to share this stuff with my subscribers. Um, so here's the video I shared on Twitter really quick. Check it out and then let's try this. All right, to do this auto park thing, I think Tesla just added it back in. You have to be in your summon settings. You have to have require continuous press set to no or this won't work. Uh, and then that's it. So if you want the car to park after you get out, double tap your park button. You hear the autopilot noise and this pops up. You can select if you want it to go forward or backward. You'd then get out of the car. It'll go forward until it uh, stops at your limit or until it sees a wall or something and it'll park there. That's it. You can also stop it by touching a door handle on the car. And when you cancel it, autopilot noise. You see the little autopilot symbol. All right, so as I said in that Twitter clip, you have to adjust some summon settings. So you will need either enhanced autopilot or full self-driving. This is available also on the Model S, the Model X, um, and the Model 3. And I do have confirmation now, even though I said I think it's hardware 3 only. A lot of people have been telling me this works for them on hardware 2.5. So in here, you have to have require continuous press no. And that has to do with the app. I'll show you a screenshot of the app, what your app will look like when you have this selected. It looks a little different than if you have this selected. And this will just allow... The car so i guess when you switch this you have a little you know uh, warning this will just allow the car to go ahead and do its thing without you monitoring it so a little risky uh, make sure you're comfortable with all these kind of settings and stuff all right but then once you have those settings all you got to do is double tap park and there it is it pops up you tell it where you want it to go and then you can just get out and close the door and the car will start moving now it shouldn't go into my garage door it's either going to uh, not do anything or it's going to open the garage door and move out for me. So there we go. Now, if I want it, so it's not gonna open the garage door. It will interact with your garage door. Oh, okay, there it goes. So it realized my garage door was in the way. It's opening it all by itself. I, of course, didn't do anything. And oh, I realized my focus is all messed up. Um, there you go. So uh, I didn't do anything. It automatically opened the garage door for itself. Look at that nice plow job. I just did that tonight. Um, and it's heading out. Uh, might get a little stumped by the snow here. But there you go, it'll go for whatever, 40 feet or whatever I have it set to, whatever you have it set to. Let's catch it and just touch a door handle. And there, that'll, that'll stop it. I didn't press it hard enough. Um, and then it is also closing the garage door all on its own. So now if I want it to go into the garage and I want to back it up into that, uh, oh man, I'm going to walk in the snow. <laughs> it just drove right into the snow. Um, if I want it to back up into the garage, this may, well, it looks like it's lined up. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so we get back in here, we double click. It comes back up and now I want it to go backwards. I will just walk behind it. It should not run into me. There it goes, all on its own. I'm not doing anything. I'm not interacting with the app, of course. I mean, here's one hand, and the other hand's on the camera. And it should see the garage door. And hopefully open it. So there it goes. It decided garage door is there. I want to see if I can move that out of my way. I wonder how long it waits, because... Uh, once it's above the bumper, it can't know. So uh, now it's continuing, and it's, yeah, kind of doing a not perfect job. It will turn uh, slightly left and right to avoid things. This is the exact same as Dumb Summon. So when you go in the app, yeah, it's not going to do a good park job. Well, maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. Um, exact same as when you go into the app and you tell it, oh, it's running over stuff. <laughs> Okay, that's that's good enough. Um, I'll fix it myself. <laughs> um, but well, here, let me line it up and see if I can make it do it correctly. 
So, oh my gosh, I didn't even line it up that good. All right, so there you go. You get the point. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to have to fix it again. Well, it's stopping itself, but there. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. Who cares? I can close the garage door. So I'm going to plug it in, uh, but that's it. It's a pretty cool feature if you line it up correctly, which I did not on that last attempt. Um, but yeah, you can line it up, tell it, go ahead and finish parking, and uh, I'm going to be on my way. So it will also, when it's done, if I had lined it up correctly, close the garage door. Um, but a really nice feature that you can use and a lot of people didn't know about. So check it out. Uh, try it. Let me know what you think, how it's working. Confirm for me if... Hardware 2.5, you know, is working for you. Uh, I had plenty of people tell me that it is. Um, so that's really nice. And uh, look out for Tesla Challenge 17 is coming out tomorrow. Uh, it was snowing pretty good and I uh, had some troubles. So I think you'll enjoy that. But thanks for watching and you will see my car in the next video.